Understanding the phrase, old dear. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore the English phrase, old dear. This phrase has been used in English for many years, and today, you'll learn its meaning, origin, and how to use it in sentences. At first glance, the words, old, and, dear, have straightforward meanings. Old, refers to something that has been around for a while, and, dear, is a term of endearment, often expressing affection. However, when put together as, old dear, the meaning can change, and it doesn't simply refer to something old and dear. In British English, especially, old dear, is often used colloquially to refer to an elderly woman in a somewhat affectionate manner. However, it's essential to note that while some might find this term endearing, others could find it patronizing or even disrespectful. For example, the old dear at the end of the street always has candy for the kids. Be patient with the old dear, she's not as quick as she used to be. It's crucial to gauge the situation and the person you're referring to when using this term to avoid any unintended offense. The exact origin of old dear is somewhat unclear, but it's believed to have come from old British slang. The word dear has been used as a term of endearment for centuries, and combining it with old is a way to acknowledge someone's age while still showing affection. However, as with many colloquial terms, it's important to understand the cultural context in which it's being used. With the evolution of language and changing societal norms, the use of old dear has become less common in everyday English. While it can still be heard, especially among older generations in the UK, it's essential to approach the term with sensitivity. If you're ever in doubt about whether to use it, it might be best to stick with more universally accepted terms, like, elderly lady, or simply, ma'am. There you have it, folks. The phrase, old dear, is rich in cultural context and can be a term of endearment, but it's always essential to be aware of the nuances and sensitivities surrounding such phrases. We hope this video shed some light on its meaning and usage. Until next time, keep learning and exploring the beautiful world of the English language.